everyone welcome back to my channel i hope everybody is doing good i know that i haven't been filming lately but from now on i'll be filming and i'll be posting once a week on my channel so once a week i'll have a video and today i'm back with a review on a foundation that i bought a couple weeks ago i got the anastasia beverly hills foundation stick i've been using it for about like two and a half weeks when it first came out i bought it and i got it a couple days later so ever since then i've been using it almost every single day and i am in the color caramel so let's go ahead and get started on what the foundation claims to be and how many ounces it has this foundation has 0.35 ounces so not quite an ounce and it is a highly pigmented buildable cream foundation stick with a natural matte finish ideal for normal to oily skin types so this foundation on me is matte um, it lasts about on my skin for about like eight hours uh, without blotting or doing anything all day it is very creamy when I apply it on my face it's very easy to blend I like using it more with a um, I like using it more with a stippling brush my favorite one of course like every other video <laughs> that I have is my elf stippling brush that I like to use for my foundation you guys this is really affordable I think I bought it for like three or six dollars and it blends your foundation out really really nice it's comparable like to the Marc Jacobs brush like it's very blendable and easy to use so I like using it with this or if I have like my flat top kabuki from Sigma I also like using that brush to blend out this foundation. I used it with a beauty blender but I really didn't like it because it shared out the foundation and I do want to have a fuller coverage. I mean if you want a sheer coverage, nothing too heavy or medium, you can use a beauty blender and it will give you that coverage but if you use a brush it gives you a more full coverage I just use one swipe on my face and it gives you a full coverage packaging just looks like this just like a foundation stick and it has our logo here on top and the name here on the side and then you just roll it up and it looks like this so so far this foundation I've been loving it it's very easy to blend and it's very buildable if you want extra more full coverage it's been my favorite you guys and the price is only $25 Comparable to other foundation sticks that came out are like in the 40s range. This one is very affordable and it's amazing, you guys. Amazing. And I'm very oily skin type. So for this to last on my skin for eight hours without blotting is good. So I just want to go ahead and show you guys a demo and how it blends out on my skin and how it looks with all my makeup on. So let's go ahead and get started. And of course, as always, I pray my face. Today I'm gonna to be using the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. So I'm going to be putting this on my face where I have pores and where I get oily, which is on my T-zone. And a little bit of this primer goes a very long way. It's very smooth on the skin and it does cover your pores. And don't mind my nails. I have a nail appointment after I'm finished filming. <laughs> I'll have cute nails again. <laughs> I already put my primer on my face so it's ready to go. So the foundation, you just take the top off and then it just rolls up. As you can tell, I've been using it quite a bit because <laughs> it's like circle top now. So I just go ahead and just do it, just open it like this and just kind of swipe it on my face. At first I thought that this color wasn't going to fit me because it looks a little bit different when I swatch it on my hand. But once I put it on my face, it matched perfectly. So this is all I do. I just do this one swipe. I don't put any more on my face. I haven't had to put any more on my face. And then I just get my elf stippling brush and then just start blending it. I 
as you can tell I already covered the redness that I had on my face and any shovel blemishes that I have and this is just with one swipe you guys this is how the foundation looks like on my face it doesn't sink in your pores and it just like melts right in your skin and as you can tell it fits my color very well I was just kind of skeptical at first when I told you guys like because the girl the model they have on there kind of looks a little bit lighter than me I went ahead and got that color and um, it matched me very good so I'm gonna go ahead and put my makeup on and then I'll come back and show you guys the finished look so this is a final look with all my makeup on my face after the foundation I contoured my blush my highlight and I use tr a translucent powder from NARS, the press formed one. So I don't use any other color on my face. I like to use a translucent with this foundation. And it looks very good. Um, like I said, I've been loving this foundation. I've been using it for like two or three weeks now, ever since it came out. And it leaves your skin looking like this. Like how I look now, in eight hours, my makeup will look the same without blotting or anything. So this is how it looks you guys. I hope you guys try it out. Let me know your thoughts on how you guys like it. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. It's supposed to be for days. This is a daily hydration moisturizer. But it is kind of thick for my oily skin. So again, I just use it 